Hello and welcome to this little video where we are going to take a look at how to add an HDRI environment um, with a single color background um, uh, into Blender with Octane. So we are using Octane in Blender and we just want to have a single color background but we want an HDRI to uh, affect our um, object when it comes to um, reflections and refractions. So this is what uh, we want to set up. So in order to change the world settings we need to go into the shader editor and then we need to select world. And as you can see right here we have a world output. So that is basically everything that um, we need for now and uh, everything else can be deleted. Um, as you can see, I have my HDRI already in here. Um, you can just take the HDRI that you downloaded from the internet and you can drag and drop it in here. So it should be appearing as um, this node. And then you have like a transform uh, node just in order to transform the HDRI if you want to do that. So next we need an environment texture or in texture environment it's called and we can plug this into the octane environment and as you can see right here the white texture environment is emitting light and is affecting our object so now in order to use our HDRI instead of a single color we can plug in the out texture into the texture of the texture environment and now we can see our HDRI in the background uh, what's important here is to look at your gamma inside the image texture, the HDRI texture basically, and we need to set this one to 1. I think by default it's set to 2.2 .2, and that's too much. It looks a little bit off if you leave it on 2.2, .2, so put it on 1.0. Okay, so now we have done that. As uh, If you want to transform this image texture, you can take a transform node and you can try, uh, just plug it into the transform uh, value down here, the transform uh, connection basically. And uh, now we have our HDRI in the background set up, but now we want to just uh, don't see basically the HDRI in the background, we just want to see a single color in the background. And for that we basically want to connect something to this Octane visible environment, so we want to take this environment up here where we plugged in our HDRI to affect the reflections and refractions and the lighting of course but we want to get a single color in the background as a visible environment so in order to get this we need to get another texture environment and we plug it in here and as you can see nothing is happening right now and what we have to do now is to go down here and tick this box with backplate. And now you can see that we still have the HDRI that is affecting basically the refractions and reflections and we have the white environment that is in the background. If we turn this down to black and we turn a little bit our HDRI you can see that everything is affected by our HDRI but our visible environment is the single color environment texture and uh, yeah that's basically it. You can um, now play a little bit with the values if you want to change anything but um, everything should be fine uh, up from here. Yeah so this that was all. Uh, I hope I could help you with um, yeah figuring out how to work inside Blender with Octane and see you next time.